short walk today. It's a bit nippy out, but the sun is out. Praise the Lord, the sun is out. And I wanna see my window decorations for the last time, at least for Christmas 2022. Look how sweet the carolers, they're still going at it. <laughs> and the old fashioned Christmas tree, ceramic. It's a new, a new decoration right there. I'll show you inside. I love the way the tree lit up and could, uh, people who are passing by at night. Hello, Mr. Snowman. Yep, last time. We're going to be packing her up today. Packing it up. Stepping stone retreat. Look how pretty. So quiet. I have got something really cool to show you. It's a new layout. Before I take down all the decorations, I thought I'd give you one last go round if you didn't see the open house Christmas show. You can always go back and watch it. Hope you'll join me. for coming along for being here today the porch stepping stone tiny home porch I changed out the cloth it was red just did that the other day beautiful wreaths Christmas trees that I love and are you ready ready for the big change you're not going to believe it. I can hardly believe it. Can you see it? It's a bed. It's a bed. Oh my gosh. There's room for a bed in here. How fun. Christmas tree from inside. Got some new ornaments too. The Grand Sweet Peas made me these handmade ornaments. Are they gorgeous? And a tiny home. Look at the colors. I just love the way they did all the colors. The tree. Must have known I love trees, huh? Outdoors. The tree to go with the tiny home. I'm so excited. And they made me some handmade cards. My all time favorite colors. It pops up. Is that beautiful, creative? Oh my gosh. I love the art. I just love the art. Merry Christmas. Decorated on the back side, too. Grandma. Grammy. <laughs> so adorable. And the puffy stickers. Oh, my gosh. So cute. Absolutely love this picture. It's so heartwarming. You. Me. She gave me gray hair. I guess that's because I have gray hair. Oh my gosh. I hope you're having a good December. Merry Christmas. Just love the art in both of these. They're so creative and so individual. So different. I will keep these forever. Yep. And then over here, I've got one. I think I'm going to frame this. 
for Christmas time. Behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Luke 2, 10 and 11. Wouldn't that be pretty in a gold frame? Another cute card from my sister. Yeah. Nice little overview here. It looked so pretty from the street, too. I was coming home from Robbie and Larry's on Christmas Eve. It was really showing up pretty. And just a quick go around since I've already shown you. This is a new gift I showed you in a previous. Thank you, follower. You know who you are. This lights up and also plays music. And then we've got a new one now. Thank you so much. So very kind. Look, with the bunny rabbit and the bird and the lamppost. Everything that I like. I grew up with a lamppost like that. And spin around. Move the tree over there. Got a couple fun things here. A couple things on the windowsill. An angel made back in 1970. And Mr. Snowman said hi to me every morning. <laughs> yep, yeah. my little candy snack attack here. Nothing's quite so precious as Jesus in my spirit. These are from the Say It, Display It minis. I choose to be happy and follow your heart. Sayitdisplayit.com. Oh, I showed you this guy. Coming and going. All right, it's time to get busy. Put all these decorations away. I did some new renovating in the closet also. And I'll show you as I pack up my decorations and put out my annual, well, these are my annuals. I'll put out my <laughs> yearly, is that what you call them? Gathered up all the decorations from the tiny home. Here's the little array. A minimalist assortment. I didn't put out every single decoration this year. I liked how I kept it to a minimalist style. I'm going to remove the ornaments first off this tree and then I'll use the table to put some containers on so that I can wrap up all the decorations. These few things, couple wreaths, pillow and the trees I will store in big bags. Here's the assortment of minimalist decorations for the tiny home. Pulled them out of the holiday boxes. Got some messages here that I think will be applicable for 2023 in a big way. How about for you too? Live simply Love that. The windowsill. Absolutely. Three powerful words there. Yep. Pay attention to those every day. Asking for forgiveness, too. There we go. Doesn't get much better than that. This is a Wall tapestry for Stepping Stone Retreat Porch. There's a favorite. And then these photographs are from my nomad life, three and a half years. This is a rest area in Kentucky where I spent a lot of time while the cabin was being built. This is Willow Lake, Wyoming, where I spent time with friend Jolene and her husband. 
Big Bend National Park. Magnificent. And then we've got Crater Lake National Park in Oregon. All right, time to get busy here. Busier. Barren tree till next year. Yes, indeed. Lights out. Lights out on the tree, but not in your heart, right? Containers pulled out from the closet. This is decorations I use at craft show table setups. This is heirloom ornaments that I didn't put out on a tree this year. This is wrapping. This is... Uh, Thanksgiving and some uh, fall Halloween decorations. And then the method to the madness over here. We've got the trees collapsed. This collapse is real easy. This is just wire that collapses down. It's two parts. And the other containers all lined up, ready to pack. Thing I'm most concerned about is the ceramic Christmas tree that was on my desk. So it's all wrapped up in one of those white skirts. And here is the base. And Mickey and Minnie alongside here to cushion. Some fun cookie trays that I didn't use this year. And the only other thing that I get concerned about is the angel. But other than that, or Yes, and the snowman, yes. The snowman, do not want to break him. Or the carolers. But other than that, everything is just easy peasy to put away. And we should be done here, I don't know, the next half hour or so. Mission accomplished. Everyday decorations back in place. I'm going to keep Mr. Snowman out for a little while. I like him. And not sure if I've placed everything exactly where I want it. Look how sweet. But for now, I'm content. Pretty much hit a wall here. Go around a little bit here. The windowsills with the photos. Pretty generic. You know, nothing real personal here. I like it. These two bags are the Christmas trees and a wreath. And there's a wreath and the pillow. And I'm going to put these up above in the loft. And then let me show you the newly designed closet. Check it out. It's a shelf unit. I finally decided I needed a shelf unit. Was tired of... Uh, <laughs> trying to get to the bottom box and having to move six boxes or containers. I think it's about four feet high, 13 inches deep, and I had 21, 22 inches to work with here. Very excited. And then over here, from top to the bottom, is all the holiday decorations. Looking good, huh? Decided to bring the six drawer unit in. This has product in it to fill orders. And of course, these are the keepsake boxes. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then this is pretty much empty right now. I don't know what I'm going to do. Clothing. And of course, clothing here too. Super fun, updated look here. I could not pack these away till next year. Oh my gosh, you gotta love it. And the thoughtfulness behind these gifts. My Christmas tree, my all year round tree. I've got this today. Sit at my feet and let go. Jesus. I need to read that every day. Up in the loft. Storage and a bedroom. 
Seeing is believing. I turned the Christmas pillow around. Oh my gosh, and there's the exact green here in the comforter. Storage behind the pillow. Made the two blue bags into squishy pillows. Covered them with the shams. And then we've got storage over here. Nice little tabletop. I had six plastic containers and now I only have four and covered this nicer too. It was covered with, I don't know, these cloths or this towel, I think, before. So there you have that. These are new. Got these at Hobby Lobby. They're like an oversized large and just have some, I don't know, towels and various sheets and things in here. And then back around here from up above, it's Stepping Stone Retreat with a bed. Look, guys, and look how much room to walk around. I am stoked. Can you imagine if this was a fold-up bed? There's just a ton of room in here. That's all I got to say. This is a 12 by 34 home. Six feet of it is the screened porch. Just so much room. I mean, there's room for a little love seat where the rocker is or you could put a love seat where the recliner is face it inward have a private kitchen <laughs> not private but a separate kitchen there you have it i'm watching a story of the first christmas this is from the chosen series i highly recommend and with that i hope you enjoyed my putting Christmas decorations away and showing you the new improved layout here. Blessings in your day and joy in all of your projects. Joy in the journey. you one more thing as I come down the ladder just wanted to show you what it looks like from down below walking backwards here I'm digging it I'm digging it so fun Stepping Stone Retreat Tiny Home. Later.